Hello and welcome to Daniel Workshop. Today we are going to try and fix, I mean, we try. <laughs> Today I'm going to fix a knife which was uh, misused. I meant to say abuse, but let's not use that word. It was misused. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I have made, I think I made only on my Romanian channel. I had a video in the past where I, I um, pull both uh, both the the back end of the knife and the edge and slowly slowly i made a new tip but in this case uh it's uh, i mean it's not recommended because you see this very shiny area it's almost constant on on the entire length of the of the blade and if i try to bring both uh ends to a new tip then this area will become smaller and smaller. So what I, I'm going to do is I'm going to take only the back, more or less from here, and bring it on and on and on and on until this two uh, meet in a new in a new tip. And then after I think I might do only a polishing or maybe a sharpening and polishing to bring the to have a perfect edge. But it seems that the edge is quite okay and it doesn't I don't think it does a uh, need uh, a new sharpening but uh, this is let's say the introduction I'm going to start to uh, reprofile the knife and I'm going to use a disc grinder and from time to time I'm going to use also water on it to to have a so I don't have, uh, I don't ruin the, the, the blade itself. So let's get, let's get to work. took me about half an hour but I managed to get the tip get a tip again uh, like I said I only took material from this side and this side remain untouched as you can see the shiny area is constant all the way uh, I've used 80 grit sandpaper and I've started to about here and then slowly slowly gradually took it to till I met the, the the other edge and I made the tip it took me like I said about half an hour more or less and now uh, this area is rough I have also burr here and I'm going to polish it and I'm going to change the grid to 120 and then after with 240 and I'm going to finish with the leather and the polishing compound by the way just have a look there it's all <laughs> uh, metal filings okay and in the end uh, I put some water in a jar which is cracked and there is a crack there I should throw it away and <laughs> I've used it to to um, ah, I forgot the word to in the next after I mean you understand to cool it down <laughs> okay I found the word to cool the to cool it down when I was uh, I was repairing it okay let's do the polishing and I'll be back
Okay, it's uh, done. See if I can focus a little or not. Maybe not. Yes. All the area polished. If you didn't know, I mean, you can swear. You could swear that this is the way that the manufacturer intended to have it. And now I'm going to sharpen it. Uh, it doesn't need that much sharpening, but I want to. I want to show. I want to make sure that the edges. I would like how I would like to be. So now I'm going to set up everything and think about the stones that I'll use. Maybe I'll try to use. Hmm, I have an idea. Maybe I'll try to use just one stone, a 2000 grit, and see how it works. I'll be there. So, like I said, my my videos are not made based on a scenario. And in the meantime, I was thinking that. Uh, like I said, this knife doesn't need a, a big sharpening, actually a resharpening, just a little. I said to myself, let me try the 2000, Sharpton 2000. In one of my previous previous videos, I've tested the Scarper 2000, which is, I mean, you can find the video there, which is this Scarper 2000, actually the Naniva traditional 2000 stone, is made by Naniva. And I think it's more or less the same stone with Naniva Green Brick of Joy. Uh, actually, I've liked this that uh, 2000 from Scarper or Naniva, what you want to call it. And today I'm going to try this 2000. And we are not going to polish the knife, just to use the 2000. And it will be an exercise to see if we can get a good edge on a, on a knife that doesn't have a very bad edge. <laughs> we'll see. Let's try it. Okay, so what can I say about the stone? I mean, it's okay. <laughs> it does what it's supposed to do. It's, I mean, it removes material. Uh, a lot, yes. It's quite okay. Uh, the edge came out pretty, pretty good. If I can compare it, it's very, very, very similar with the Neneva Professional 1000, but a little, a little finer. The 1000 sharp tone is more more aggressive than the Neneva 1000, the professional version, and this one is very 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 similar with the uh, with the with the Neneva, but like I said, a little finer. I had something here, grabs my fingernail. No, it's okay. Probably it's a little burr. Okay, and like I said. Can you use it as only one stone in your in your kitchen? I don't think so. A professional chef would need two stones, and I tend to go to about 800 to 1000 and a finer stone. Uh, for your kitchen, home kitchen, a 2000 chef stone might be okay, might be enough, and a, 
and a small strop I think it will get you there but if you have chips or something or you're not on your knife then it's a different story and the 2000 might be too fine for for that job so I'm going to strop it now and then uh, and then that will be enough for today Okay, let's let's wrap it up for today because it's 10 p.m. here and uh, I would like to go and eat something and then after I, I would like to go to sleep. What's my opinion about the 2000? To be honest, in the past I was under the impression that to get a good edge you need to go to a 5,000 or a 6,000 or 8,000 or whatever on a knife no in the meantime I actually changed my mind when I got some 3,000 stones and also some 2,000 stones and I saw that also those can give you very 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 nice edge so today we have a good example of an edge from a 2,000 stone and a, of course a strop uh, it also shaves I mean of course it not it's not a, my hair is blonde so it won't be that easy to see it there is there one <laughs> yeah so it also shaves it's it's not its purpose of course it's not a comfortable shave you can't shave on the face with it but it for the cutting purposes of 2000 it's okay like I said in the past I was under the impression that you need a 5000 and 6000 to make a perfect edge no it's a, it's, a, it's even a 1000 it's enough for a perfect edge uh, is a 2000 enough to have I mean to have just a one stone in your house and that to be a 2000 I don't think so it's a good stone but one of those days you might have some chips on your knife and you would need a uh, you would need to remove a lot of material and that 2000 is not uh, not what you need for that but for polishing and to have a nice edge a 2000 yeah it's okay I mean if you need a polished edge so like I said uh, it's enough for today it's okay as a stone 2000 uh, will I use it in the future no I don't think so because like I said I prefer to go from 1000 to about 3000 because it's also it's also in I don't think it's a it's a it will be a problem to go to, to a 2000 but in my mind <laughs> I've already set my mind that to have a polished edge you need to go to a 3000 stone and if I set my mind to that so yeah I, I might go I don't think I will use this stone in the future it's not because it's a it's a bad stone or something but in my mind <laughs> my mind is set for a three to five thousand for a polishing so <laughs> yeah uh, I'll use those three thousand and uh, uh, five thousand in my future moves but that's it for today I'll uh, uh, I'll leave you now if you have questions you can leave them below back up there I left you some other videos that I made and of course thumbs up subscribe it's a it's a given <laughs> it's a must so I'll see you in my next uh, video and have a nice day